What is going on guys, Nathan Christ here, and today I'm going to do a video on how to replace the drive belt on a Ferris Z3X. And let me tell you right now, it's not an easy job. I would not have been able to do it without a lift. Unless you can lift that mower completely up off the ground, you gotta be able to take a clutch bracket loose, um, you gotta be able to take a clutch wire off, and you've got to be able to get your sockets in there to uh, really torque on the tensioner pulleys, and I had to use a two foot cheater bar on it. So guys, it's something that you can do, but if time is not your friend, or if you're not very mechanically inclined, just take it to your dealer. It'll be a whole lot easier. But for those do-it-yourselfers, here's the video. Yeah. Leave some comments in the section below. Let me know if you had any trouble, and I'll be glad to help you out any way I can. So this is the belt that I'm putting on it. It is a 5 8 inch wide belt. It's a V belt. This is the belt that I'm gonna replace it with. It's considered a Kevlar belt. Uh, so you see that the belt's actually an 81 inch in length but it's called a B78, and you have to account for that. It's, so the belt size that you're getting is three numbers lower than the actual inches that you need the belt. So if you, just, just so you have it in the back of your mind, if you go to order a belt and you see this B78 up here, you say, well, I need an 81 inch belt, that's gonna convert. So just make sure you guys know that before you replace your belts. I'm gonna show you this the best that I can. So I'm coming in under the rear of the mower, and I'm looking up at it. I've got my hydros on either side, and then my clutch is right here. So actually on top of the clutch, there is a pulley. And that's one of the one, one of the pulleys that this belt goes on. So you see, I can't get it up and over these belts. And I'm just gonna pull this belt off because this will be pretty easy to get back on. It's got a lot of a lot of slack in it. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off now. And you can see it. Well, I don't know if you can see it up here when I when I pull on this belt, you can see it's got a tensioner pulley that it's giving me some slack. And that's the, uh, that's the belt the mower was. All right, so I'm gonna just pull this off here. I'm gonna pull it, give myself a little bit of slack so I don't bust my knuckles. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and disconnect my PTO switch. I'm going to put this up here so you guys can kind of see. So it does have a little buckle on top. You just got to pull that buckle back. If you guys don't have a multi-tool, I recommend getting one. I probably use this thing 10 times a day. Let's get my hand up here. I want to be careful, I don't want to break this tab off. Here's where I need a second hand. So I'm going to lift that up with a knife, and I'm going to pull it off with my other hand. I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'll show you what it looks like. This. All right, so here's the clutch. Here's the wire harness that has to be disconnected. You just have to lift up on this tab, pop it out, and then you got to loosen this bolt that holds this bracket in place. It's a 9 16 bolt, and you just have to loosen it up enough to be able to slide that out of the way far enough so that the clutch will spin. You don't actually have to take the clutch off, but you do have to be able to put the belt in between the clutch and the bracket. As I grabbed a socket, you're gonna need at least one extension uh, I actually put another one on there. I like to have a little bit more room, and then I use the deep well uh, socket for it. It is 9 16 This doesn't have to be deep well, but I like to give myself as much extra room as I can, especially when I'm working underneath something so I don't have as much trouble uh, reaching things and it's just not as awkward. So. so I'm gonna actually put up a diagram of how this belt's routed. But what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take the belt and put it up over top of these fins for the hydro pumps. See these fins up here? So you're gonna have to take the belt and go up and over top of these fins. Like so. And be 
careful not to break them off. They shouldn't break their plastic, but just don't be rooting around in there too much. And then the same thing on this other side. So come behind this, I'm gonna come behind this center pulley here because it's gonna go straight across back here. It's gonna go straight across. Sorry for the camera work, guys. I can be a mechanic and I can be a cameraman, but I can't be both at the same time. All right. So it's gonna be like that. Obviously the, the, v, the V part of the belt's gonna be in the pulley. Same thing over here, V, pelt, v part of the belt's gonna be in the pulley. It's gonna go straight across back here. Once you've got it around these back pulleys, I just plan to kind of put everything in there loosely. Um, if I'm standing on the machine, this is me standing on it, I'm on the left, this is the, this is the left hand side, the side that I'm working from. So it's gonna go from the left hand side, if you're standing on it, you're gonna wanna feed it up in between the bracket that you loosened up and the clutch. It was, it was in here like this, this bracket was pushed in here, so it's gotta be pulled out a little bit. And then the belt's gonna go in between and up and over top so that it can rest around this pulley here. And you're gonna have to feed it in this side as well. Like so. So now the belt is sitting up on top of this pulley here. And also guys, another good thing, when you're in here, you need to check all your pulleys. Make sure there's no debris, make sure there's not a gumball or a rock that's got wedged in there and made it come off in the first place. All right, y'all. Again, I'm sorry, this is so hard to show on camera. So I've got my two uh, pump pulleys, one here and one on the other side. And it's going straight across. It's bypassing this idler pulley. It's just going straight across. Okay, I'm turning this around. Now I'm facing the front of the mower. I'm facing the front of the mower. This is the left side. This is the right side. So when it comes off the right hydro pump, it goes straight over to the idler pulley, wraps around the idler pulley, and comes back to make a loop to go, this is the last part of the puzzle. That's the last piece that I'm gonna put on. The easiest way to do it is to do the right pump first, go straight back around this pulley that moves, put it over the left one, around the clutch, and then pull your slack out up here. All right, so now all I have to do is I'm gonna take my socket and there's a little notch in here that'll fit your wrench in there perfectly. And this is why I said you wanna have a, an extended handle. Look how far it's sticking down so I can easily turn it. And what I'm gonna do is when I turn this handle, when I've got that extension in there, turn it the wrong way. When I move it, I'm gonna get slack. So I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna pull it towards me against the spring tension, I'm gonna pull it towards me, here the spring, I'm gonna pull it towards me, and then I'm gonna loop that up. Now I can't do this on camera because I got to really torque down on it. If it's really too hard, what you can do is put a cheater bar, put a piece of pipe, 10 or 12 inch pipe on the end of this ratchet and make it a little bit easier to, to crank and uh, give yourself some leverage. So I'm gonna pull this and I'm just gonna loop that belt on there. Now I wanna point out, now I wanna point out, the belt, the V part of the belt is in all of the pulleys. It's only on the center pulley that it goes the back side. Stopped halfway through so you can see. It's gonna go up and around that pulley on the back side. And guys, I did get a two foot pipe to make it a whole lot easier. So I'm gonna pull this. And I'm gonna try to push this belt back on. Just like that. Just like that. All right, so now here you see it. This is the right side drive motor, 
right side pump goes around to the pulley, to the tensioner pulley. I keep calling it an idler pulley. To the tensioner pulley. And then it comes up and around the idler pulley. Goes around the pulley that's over top of the clutch. Circles back over to the left hydro and the left hydro sends it straight across to the right hydro. Now what I need to do is I need to spin my clutch back around, push this bracket back in place. I'm going to uh, attach my PTO back up. And don't forget, you gotta tighten that bolt back down. So I'm gonna crank that back down. All right guys, so everything is back in place. The bolt is tightened up. My clutch bracket's back in place. I've got the plug back in. The only thing left to do is to put this belt back on. Now just make sure that this belt, sometimes it'll pop off this tensioner pulley. This is what's gonna move and give you the ability to put this back on the the uh, pulley here. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do it with two hands. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull with one hand, give me some slack, and then I'm gonna start it on here. And I'm just gonna try to force that, force that belt back up here. All right, just so you guys can see. Um, so this is the idler pulley. Oh, God, I keep calling it idler pulley. This is the tensioner pulley that the belt's on that I need to move. And underneath on its arm, there's another place, there's another cutout for your socket to go. Now I can't put an extension on this one. It just fits right in there. And then as I pull it, it'll pull up against that spring and it'll be able to give me some room to put that belt back on. I couldn't pull it by hand. All right guys, without a doubt, this belt was the hardest one to put back on. The first one we took off, because there's no room to leverage that, that ratchet in there. Man, that was super, super difficult. I actually had to lower the lift down some. You hear the air running. I had to lower the lift down some so I could get a little bit better handle on it. But anyways, that's put back together. It's good to ride for another day. All right, guys, we appreciate you. We love you. And above all else, God bless yeah. you. Leave some comments in the section below. Let me know if you had any trouble. And I'll be glad to help you out any way I can.